What's going on YouTube? Tim, changing the ignition coils on my Mercedes-Benz W204 C300. So I'm placing my ignition coil with the Delphi or Delphi technology ignition coil. From what I read, this is one of the better alternative spark plugs. It's only cost me about, I wanna say 30 bucks on Amazon, link in the description below. But this should do the job. And the reason I'm changing my ignition coil is because I had, uh, I'm running a code and a misfire, P0302. If you have that same code, then yes, you probably need new spark plugs, new ignition coil, or some other problems may be occurring, but this is one of the better, best steps to take in fixing that issue. So with the misfire, you're gonna have rough idling. I'm gonna show you a video here. You can see that the needle is actually jumping up and down as you're idling, you feel it all throughout the car. If you hold your hand on the gear shift, you can feel um, how wobbly everything is and how much the car is shaking. And sometimes if you're low on gas, your car will have almost a death wobble at that point. So it's best to go ahead and make sure you go, go to your mechanic, check it out, or if you have the means, replace your own ignition coils or make sure you get it serviced and checked out to see what the actual issue is. Now with the uh, misfire, I also get a lower um, MPG. I get about 8.7 miles per gallon right now, which is absolutely horrible. I get about, I fill up about every week at this point, 8.7 miles per gallon. I drive a lot, so I fill up every single week. So this is definitely, this will definitely save me a lot of money, 30 bucks to save you $50 a week, pretty much. So the first thing you wanna do is actually remove your air box and pop your hood, of course. But on my setup, this is a little bit different for the W204, I have a, cold air intake system. If you want to check that out, I have a video on my YouTube channel. And so for this one, it's less steps. All I have to do is remove this hose right here, pops right on out, just like that. And then this little clip in the back, just push that off. And this whole box will come up and out of the engine. Now on the actual setup of the W204, you're gonna have a air intake pipe right here and right here, it'll just unclip and just pull out the same way. So, it comes out just like that. So these are the ignition coils right here on the left side and right side of the engine, six of them. This is a V6. And this is the number two spark plug that we're replacing right here. This is the, we're standing in front of the car. This is the passenger side. And from what I've read, this is the one that I need to replace number two. So I'm gonna take this one out and replace it with the other one. So what you're gonna to need to actually take out the ignition coil is a T30 uh, Torx bit. Get this at AutoZone, it's about two, three dollars or something like that. Now, if you don't have this T30 bit, you could use a flathead, but you might run into some issues with um, the tread being kind of you know messed up at the end. And just so you guys know, you will need a ratchet attachment for your Torx bit. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually remove the plug that goes into the ignition coil right here with a flathead screwdriver. So this little clip right here, all you wanna do is take the flathead, this gray piece right here, and push that backwards. Don't wanna break this, so I gotta be really careful. All right, so with the clip out, as you can see here, I'm just going to take my Torx bit and unscrew these two things right here. So with the bolts loose, you can just pull the ignition coil directly out of the engine. So next thing I'm gonna do is just unplug the plug right here from the ignition coil. So this is a comparison between the Delphi, Delphi ignition coil versus the OEM ignition coil. Different color on top, same weight, same setup, different colors on the stock right here, whatever this is called, the boot, rubber boot maybe. Technically the same product. I'm not sure how long this one will last me, but I will test it out for you guys so that you don't have to. And I'll let you know in about 10 months in the comment section, I'll do like a video update. And one more comparison, this is 30 bucks compared to $80 per ignition coil for Mercedes. So this is definitely a bargain if it works out properly. So before I stick the new ignition coil into the engine, I'm gonna coat the boot with some dielectric grease to make it easier to take it out next time I want to replace a spark plug. This is about $2 at AutoZone. This will last you a very long time. You don't need much of this stuff at all. All you need is about that much, even less than that, and just rub it into the bottom of the uh, rubber part right here. And then this part right here will slide directly on top of your spark plugs inside the engine. You can see the spark plug down in there right now.
So once the ignition coil is situated inside the engine, you can go ahead and replace both your two screws right here. Now with everything torqued down, all you wanna do is reinsert your wiring right here to the ignition coil. And it'll look just like that when everything is complete. And just go ahead and pop that uh, gray clamp back in and you'll be all good to go. So after everything is finally situated, go ahead and put your air box back on. Make sure this little clamp at the back goes back on properly, just like that. And last thing, and most importantly, make sure this hose goes back on or you'll throw multiple, multiple codes. You have a chain engine light on almost after five minutes of driving. Make sure this pipe goes back on to this spot right here. <clears throat> and make sure it's tight also. Make sure both sides of this pipe are on there pretty snug. So this part right here too, and then that piece right there. So after the air box is back on, you're free to start your engine and make sure everything works. And hopefully your P0302 code will actually disappear. All right, so as you guys can see here, it started up perfectly fine. And if you take a close look here, the needle isn't jumping all around like it was in the previous video. And I'm sitting in the car right now and it feels much, 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 much smoother. I don't feel anything right now. Smooth uh, RPM range used to jump up from like 650 to 750, 800, all up and down. But right now I'm staying between, staying around 680 and 710 pretty much in that range. All right, guys, everything seems to be operating smoothly. If you want to check out where to get these Delphi ignition coils, link in the description below. They're on Amazon for about 30 bucks. Great deal. And this was a quick and simple install. Other than that, thanks for watching.